I'm so ready for this. Do, do. Where's like, do I not need my vest on either? Is the vest too much? I don't need the vest. No, not That's fine. Bucket, not in the bucket. Because people should see the bucket. Traffic, it, the bucket. Not in a bucket. <laughs> I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. I say that now. What are we doing right now? What's this? Okay, we're gonna be installing a street light, mm -hmm. and first uh, we have to assemble the street light before mm -hmm. we hang it. So this is gonna be uh, assembling the street light. Love it. Okay. more pieces than that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no. But we're gonna add uh, some of our own wire to it. Just okay. to make it easier on us. Okay. So I asked Christian what his favorite part about this job is. What's your favorite part about this job? Uh, I guess the, the night work. Okay. The trouble calls at night. Really? Um, those are usually the best, or the, or the most exciting, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. You really never know what you're getting called in for. It could be anything. Huh. Uh, First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clip in. Okay, please, yes. Let's, so we're just gonna, gonna take that off and. Okay. And you're gonna be clipped into the bucket, so you're not gonna be going anywhere. Okay, which I appreciate. Okay, clipped into the bucket. We'll be doing the same to you. Okay. That's the thing about a bucket. It uh, there's a lot of tools in here. You kind of yeah. There's honestly a lot more up here than I thought was up here. Uh, what happened? I told, I didn't, I didn't mention LED, but. Oh, wait, do, do we want to talk about the light? If you want to, yeah. Yes, okay. okay. What kind of light are we installing 
right now? We're going to be installing just a street light, LED mm -hmm. light. Okay. And it's going to, for a homeowner who requested on one. This bowl right here. This bowl so right here. it was a, a homeowner that called and was like, I want my property to be lit. I mean, it's vacant, but he wants light on his property. Yes, ma'am. And he can do that. Yep. And that's We're where we come it. in. <laughs> All right. Okay. And we built the light ourselves. And yeah, I feel like I like this project, like start to finish. All right, okay, what's next? Okay, he's gonna hand you that light. Oh, I'm gonna hold the light, okay. Well, uh, I'll take it. Oh, no, I could tell, I'm, I'm useful, gonna, guys. We're just Squeezing gonna put it right in. here between us. There's a light that we built, I didn't build it. I just watched them, guys. Just... Okay. okay. No. Wait, what kind of tools are up here? Cause I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but the entire bucket, is full of tools. Like <laughs> so there's, yeah, there are tools everywhere. So what, I mean, just like run us through some basics. I mean, I, wires. We carry, yeah, we carry the basic hammer. Uh, this is a wrench for the bolts. Okay. Uh, our larger bolts right here. And uh, just in case we can't get our uh, our power equipment in there. Okay. We need something like that. And, uh, we have a uh, regular DeWalt impact guns in here. Oh. And, um, you know, bolt cutters. What would happen if that died? I'm just, I'm not trying to jinx that, but like, we when did, do we charge this? We would do it, uh, oh, well, we, we have chargers on the truck. Oh, okay, okay, but, okay, uh, so it's not like, yeah, if, okay. If we can't use the, the drill, we'd have to do it by hand. Okay, so. gotcha, so we're, we try to keep everything charged, <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. Huh. Hey. It's like your ultimate tool shop in a bucket at the top of a truck. Hey. That's what I feel like. It's your mobile, it's your mobile toolkit, basically. I can't think of anything cooler to say than that. How far up are we right now? Um, I would say about 15 foot. I 15? think it's, well, actually 12, 12, 12 feet, feet, yeah, because that's what the hell the truck is. It's, uh, it's, guys, remember, we all know how I feel about heights. <laughs> all right, starting off 2019 strong. Okay. okay. So you're gonna keep your hands in the bucket while yes. uh, okay. I fly and- Okay. Uh, We're gonna be looking this way, okay. Right. So you ready? Yo, yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're good though. Here. Wow. See, initial reaction, everyone. Initial reaction, yep. I also talk a lot when I get nervous, sorry. Yeah, there's that. My heart is uh, back at 15 feet. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness. Oh gosh. Guys, I bet you've never been this close to a, 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 a transformer. transformer. And I don't mean like the movie. Like, do you need any of my assistance? No. Man. Oh, that's great because my hands are sweating. <laughs> Flip the camera around to show Sal. Uh, we're working. Every, we're working. Everything. Everything above us is energized. So those lines up there, there's going to be 14,000 volts. Oh goodness! And then it comes down and hits the transformer, which transforms that voltage into uh, what you can use in the house, which is uh, 120, 120, 240. It's a big difference. All right. Okay. So, so we just go through a bunch of coils, and, and this will be your service wire going to your home, like that. Okay, that's how you get power. That's, oh goodness, okay. We're here, we're back, we're focused. Oh goodness. Oh, we're, we're moving more, yep. Okay. Here. Okay. So these are the uh, transformer. So this is your neutral here. Your two hot legs. So it's gonna be 120, 120, 240 across. Okay. So that's where you get your voltage from. We're just gonna connect like our little light to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Sal, let's be honest here. Have you ever accidentally cut the wrong wire? Yes. <laughs> it happens. It happens. I feel like all of them look the same, guys. It's, yeah. It's... When I first got started, I was working a street life, and I was really intimidated by the guys I was working with. Mm -hmm. I had wired the light completely backwards. <laughs> and then they proceeded to make fun of me yep. for the rest of the day. I believe it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh wait, did it fall outside? Hey. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm not ducked down like cowering in the bucket. So there's that. Different size wires and different size wires uh, for di different connections. Okay. So this is uh, uh, two watt, and then we're gonna go with a number six. Okay. Like, it's just the number of the wire, the okay. size of it. Like a 10 gauge, 8 gauge. Gotcha. I'm zero gauge. Right, I'm going to need that one little tool right here. No worries. that it needs is just that little piece right there and that's the that's gonna be the neutral and then we're gonna oh. run the hot leg in there oh okay okay i'm getting ahead of myself so that's one connection okay one down one, one, down. one, to, go. one to go oh gosh so we're gonna blink this blink it sure blink it Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't talk. It's a success. Good stuff. So, by chance, we had like a dead light. Does that ever happen? You know what I mean? Like, sometimes they malfunction. Yeah. I mean, that sucks. Next time you see your local journeysmen or your local linesmen, and there has, I found out there has been a woman in the past, but say thank you. They do a lot. And the height thing, it's a, that's a big part of it. That's, that's a large, just say thank you. But you guys know how I feel. Say thank you to everybody. Cause you never know how it could affect someone's day. You never know what they're going through. Sal, you having a good day? Sal's having a great day though. But anybody, you never know. You never know. What are your shifts like? Do you work like eight hours or is it like 12 hour shifts? Like uh, we do eight hours unless there's other calls. Okay, and then you, okay. Does our light work? Yep. Yep. You guys can't see it because it's daytime right now, but just know if you drove by this spot tonight, it would be on. I think I did great. I think I did great. You mm -hmm. nailed it. I talk too much. Yeah. I think you need to do that in your job. <laughs> yeah, that is that is true. You, that is very true. Oh gosh. All right. And we're back. I, it's almost like a like a roller coaster ride when you've like made it back to like destination. And I think, Christian, are you coming to get my stabilizer? What? Are you coming to get my stabilizer? Yeah, I was gonna come grab it. How do we look up there? We did great, yeah, right? You guys get I think yes. Wait, I'm getting a round of applause. Yes. 
after a working late. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's just be here. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. But we're still good. We're still good. How oh, you like that? That's, um, we're high. I just want all of my followers. Do you see the trees that I am in line with? All right. This is this is really nice. This is cool. Guys, I can't look at the ground, so I'm just going to show all of you. That's cool. We're, <clears throat> do you know how high up we are? I don't think I want you to say it. Yeah. <laughs> so that wraps up the footage for today of me hanging out with the Willacoochee River Electric Co-op and my great crew that I was with, Sal and Christian. I hope you all learned a couple of new things about being a linesman and being a journeyman and all the things that they do do. It's absolutely incredible. I learned a lot, we conquered some things, but if you haven't done so already, go ahead, like this video, comment if you, I don't know, just comment, because I love reading your comments, and subscribe if you haven't done that too, and have a great day everyone, I'll see you next time. Gosh, guys, I'm pretty sure that was only about 15 seconds, but it felt like forever. You, like, you wanna go up and over?